What's up everyone, Dr. Eric Jackson here. Wanted to sit down and talk to you about a very important topic. Um, I always get the question, what kind of toothpaste should my child use? It's one of the top questions that pretty much I'm sure every dentist gets. Um, but are you recommending and are you receiving the right information? Um, historically, it's always been one way, but as of 2014, there was a fundamental shift and a change in the recommendations. Um, you'll find it in the uh, February, I believe, February 2014 uh, edition of the Journal of Ameri Academy of Dental Dentistry, the JEDA, um, is a is a rec update on the fluoride guidelines um, for pediatric patients, specifically from zero to three, and then from three to eight. Um, what are they? Well, how do we answer this question? Well, what's the what's the big what's the big deal? Just use that training toothpaste that everyone's used for years. Nope. No longer are we recommending training toothpaste. And what is training toothpaste? In case you don't remember, or in case you're unfamiliar with it, training toothpaste is that gelatinous toothpaste. Uh, often made, well, there's a couple different manufacturers, but it really doesn't have much in it. It's just kind of a gelatinous goo, no fluoride, uh, I think minimal grit, if any, frankly, and um, it's no longer useful. Why? Well, because that young age bracket, zero to three especially, but even to zero to five, has seen increasing, increasing rates of decay, regardless, and much faster rates than any other segment of the population. That's a very large portion of that paper, and if you're interested in learning about the statistics behind the recommendations and the rationale why, I encourage you to read that February 2014 article. Now, when I go around and talk to different mom groups and parent groups and schools and whatnot, without fail, people still don't know about this, which is why I'm making this video. This is one of those public service announcement videos that really gets to the heart of it. What type of toothpaste should my child be using? The answer is, the regular children's fluoride toothpaste, like Crest Kids, Colgate Kids, and you know, whichever, all the different kind. Uh, my children have always loved Crest, um, uh, the Crest Kids, it's the Sparkle Fun flavor. It's sparkly, it's fun, it tastes like buried goodness and whatnot, and they love it. The key here is not um, the brand of toothpaste, the key is the volume of toothpaste. And on the website here, on my website, we've got a nice little image from the ADA here. Um, it's all about the size, the volume of toothpaste. So from zero to three years old, you're going to use, you see the grain of rice right here? It's the size of a grain of white rice. Very small. Or I'll often describe it as just put as minimal as you can on there. And that's starting at the age of six months. Or frankly, it's more accurately described as it's starting at the eruption of the first tooth, which usually is right around six months old. So from the eruption of the first tooth to three years old, grain of rice. Keep doing it, brush normal, yes, they're gonna swallow it. Yes, that can cause fluorosis. And I know this is a hot topic, which I'm not really gonna get into right here, but ultimately it comes down to, um, we never have everything in life, right? So the risk of fluorosis is not a great thing, but it's also much less of a problem than rampant pediatric young cavities, right? We don't want kids having baby bottle tooth decay. We don't want kids having a lot of problems when they're young because fixing Dental decay on a one-year-old or a two-year-old is obviously very difficult. Um, it likely involves a specialist. It might involve um, restraints. It depends on a lot of different things, how the child has to be done, because we want that child to be healthy. We want to make sure that that child receives the best possible dental care and it starts at home. At the age of three, um, they're able to much more predictably swish, spit, things like that. They get to have fluoride toothpaste in the volume of a green pea. That is important because they also have all their adult teeth, most likely, I'm sorry, they don't have all their adult teeth, they have all their, pedi their pediatric baby teeth by that point. And so by the age of three, you know, depending on the child, but almost all of the time, they're in by three, and then you've got everything to brush. So you're brushing with a proper volume, you're brushing corner to corner, and you're spitting, and you're not ingesting anything, and everything's wonderful. Um, in general, we really want to make sure that we focus more on the disease prevention properties of this recommendation as opposed to the fluorosis being a cosmetic problem and there's you know we can we'll talk about fluorosis in a separate video probably but ultimately it's the lesser of all evils so my children um, some of them predate when they were very young they were predating the recommendations I have two young children now we're following the recommendations um, and everything and it's just we practice what we preach so I encourage you 
look up the uh, February 2014 uh, Journal of, of the Academy, Academy of General Dentistry uh, for further information. But really just remember, from eruption to three years old, grain of rice, volume, no more. Brush, spit if possible, and then rinse. From three on, green, grain of rice is out the door. You move up to the green pea. And then until six years old, maybe eight years old, depending on what your personal preference is, you go from there. And then from eight on, you can, all the teeth have uh, more or less, with the exception of the wisdom teeth, by the age of eight, the crowns and all the enamel have fully formed and uh, matured, and the, the risk of fluorosis is infinitely small after the age of eight on average. So thank you very much for watching. I hope this is a very good, like I said, public service announcement, gets the word out there. Um, that's the whole point of this YouTube channel, a quick, easy way to disseminate fantastic information about uh, dental business, dental care, about uh, being the, you know, a parent in this situation, having pediatric age children, all very, very important to get the information out there as efficiently and easily as possible. Thanks for watching. If you have any ideas about brushing, favorite stories. I'd love to hear that kind of stuff. Put them in the comments below. I'd love to hear them and respond back to you. If you like the content, of course, please subscribe to the, to the channel. Um, I'll post a link at the end here. Um, just click on my face and you'll be ready to subscribe. Make sure you click the bell to get the notifications when a new video is uploaded and you'll be one of the first to watch. Thanks again. Have a great afternoon. All the best. I'll see you at the next video. Bye-bye now.